Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Amy of Melbourne. I'm Amy, obviously, and today I'm going to be talking about plus size, fat, inclusive, big bodied, capsule wardrobe, free patterns. I know, freebies, everyone loves a freebie, and I thought today I'd break it down as a capsule wardrobe. <laughs> I want to highlight a couple of things first. Number one, all of these patterns have to be at least a 55 inch hip. That's not as big as I wanted to make it. I wanted to make it 60 inch so that it could be the same as the brilliant uh, Kirby Pattern Database um, website. She's brilliant, she's on Instagram as well, and she collects all the pattern information as much as she possibly can um, so that we have a place to go to on the internet where we can find patterns that will fit us and our beautiful bodies. Um, but to be honest, within the free pattern realm, it was so limited. I could find lots of t-shirt patterns, but trying to find from different diverse companies, patterns for different kinds of clothing was really hard. Mood had a lot, Fabric Store had quite a few, and Peppermint did as well, Peppermint Magazine. Um, but outside of those, just, there's just not much. Um, Helen's Closet has a couple as well, in case anyone wants to point that out. I know they do definitely have some, um, and Patterns for Pirates, but again, not, not a big diverse range of different things. Um, if you know of any free patterns that I have not included, um, that are from different companies, that you love, tried and true, you think are amazing and people need to know about that go above a 55 inch hip measurement, please put them in the comments down below so that we can all share that knowledge. Um, yeah, so anyway, on with the video. I hope you enjoy the selection of patterns that I have for you today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Have a look at some of my other videos. Um, yeah, anyway, enjoy. Okay, so the first pattern that I'm gonna recommend for this video is the Do It Yourself Better Club Anything But Basic Tee, which is actually the thing that I'm wearing now. Uh, this t-shirt is brilliant. I've made it a couple of times. Drafting's great, sizing's fantastic. So, looking at my phone, checking the, the size range. So it starts at a full hip of 34 inches and goes all the way up to size 36, which is a full hip of 67 inches, which is absolutely brilliant. It has multiple necklines, it's got multiple sleeve lengths, it's a more fitted tee, it's not boxy, it's actually like proper fitted tee. I'm going to be using this soon to make um, myself some basics for camping out of Merino that I got from uh, the fabric store in New Zealand. Um, but yeah, I love this t-shirt and I highly recommend it. The next thing I have for you is a skirt. So in a capsule wardrobe, this skirt is going to be from Peppermint Magazine. Peppermint Magazine has recently changed, now they are asking for donations. So it is technically a free pattern, but it's also not. That's why there's only one Peppermint Magazine pattern in here, though I do highly recommend their patterns. They're brilliant. I've done testing for some of them before, and I've made lots of them, and they are usually very, very brilliant, and they are becoming very size inclusive, which we love. But this one specifically is the pocket skirt. I've made it twice and it's brilliant. It is a tried and true for me. I love it. It works for winter and summer and the pockets are genuinely massive and uh, it's brilliant. So highly recommend that one for your capsule wardrobe. So the pocket skirt is a collaboration between Paper Theory and Peppermint Magazine and the skirt hip um, starts at a inches 34 and goes up to the hip inches of 57.5, which is size 28. I will say it is quite roomy um, and it would also be pretty easy to extend it, just adding a little bit extra in the middle of the front and the back panels if you needed it to be bigger for your size and made for your body. So again, highly recommend this. It's a fantastic pattern. For shorts, I've actually picked a collots pattern. Um, it's pretty easy to make a pair of longer collots or pants into a pair of shorts, but these look really nice. They have an elastic waist. They are the Cass Wide Leg Collots from Fabric Store. Fabric Store is another place again where they have lots and lots and lots of free patterns. Um, so check them out, have a look and see if there's anything else that you like. But for this collection, I thought these would be great shorts for a capsule wardrobe. They go from a size two to 30 and the hip range is from a size from 
35 inches to 58 inches, which is pretty good. It's not quite up to the amazing um, curvy pattern database minimum, but it's pretty close there. And to be honest, finding free patterns for bigger bodies is bloody hard. Uh, I can't believe how hard it has been to find enough patterns to make a capsule wardrobe, considering that there are literally thousands of free patterns out there on the internet, but finding anything besides basic t-shirts or leggings was really hard. That's the cast shorts. I would really like to make these. They look really nice. Um, so I'm going to download that pattern and I'm definitely going to try and make it. The next thing in the capture wardrobe is a pair of jeans. You always need a pair of jeans in a capture wardrobe. The ones I'm going to recommend to you are from Mood Fabrics. They have thousands of free patterns. It is massive, their collection. These ones are a very basic pair. Um, I think you can make them with stretch, but they are more for a non-stretch, which is my personal preference. I think that it looks much nicer um, and it feels nicer wearing a non-stretch that's actually made for your body properly. Um, so these are the Calamint jeans. They have a hip range from 34.5 inches to 63 inches, which is fantastic. They are sort of like a, a mum boyfriend jean, very, very basic kind of a jean, um, and they'd be really open to sort of any kind of hacks that you could do. For this capsule collection, I have selected two dress patterns that are free, uh, a casual dress and a more formal fancy dress. The first casual dress that I'm going to share with you is the orchard dress from Helen's Closet, and I love the way this pattern looks. I have it on my list of things to make. I can't wait to make it. Um, if you'd like to see a video about me making it and maybe a review, let me know in the comments. Um, this pattern goes up to a 62 inch hip, which is brilliant. Um, it is very roomy around the hips as well, so I think that it could probably um, work for someone who has maybe a larger hip span and they could extend it just a smidge um, and sort of curve out a bit further. It would also be great as a cami. So if you're looking for a free cami pattern, then this could work really well. Well, two. So for the formal dress, I have the Rebecca Page Patsy Party dress. Um, it says that it goes to up to, from newborn, <laughs> up to a 5XL women's. So I don't know what that is in terms of inches. It is a very flowy circle skirt design. It's vintage inspired. It's really, really nice. I will try and find the actual inches again, and I'll post them somewhere on the screen or down below in the description if I can. Um, but it looks really, really beautiful. And if you are in need of a free pattern to make a formal style dress or something for a cocktail party or a wedding, this is absolutely brilliant. Basic shirt. In every capsule wardrobe I've ever seen, you need a basic white shirt. The closest I've been able to find is from Mood Fabrics again. This was a really hard find a shirt pattern for this. Um, so it's the Hollyhock shirt. I will say straight up, it's a far more feminine design. It looks really beautiful. I actually really want to make it. It's got a rounded collar rather than a straight pointed collar and it's got darts and it's fitted and all of that sort of thing. Um, and it's a little bit vintage style, I would say. Um, in terms of sizing, it's mood, so it's usually pretty good. Um, it goes up to a size 30, which is a hip of 63 inches and all the way down to a size two, which is a hip of 34 and a half inches. So really good size range. So that's a really good shirt. I also um, wanted to give a shout out to another mood pattern, which is the Kanye shirt. This is a boxy shirt. So if you are someone who likes a boxy fit, dartless, that's a really good one. It's got the same size range because it's mood. Um, so it's just a different style. Again, it's got that more um, pointed collar. It's a camp style shirt, so it doesn't have the full um, collar stand like the Holly Hop does, but it's another option for you if that's what you're interested in. The next thing on my list is leggings, and these leggings that I picked out are a cult classic in the sewing world, and that is the peg legs pattern from Pattern for Pirates. So, in terms of size range, um, peg legs start at a hip 34 and they go up to a hip of 64, which is brilliant. They also have quite a few add-ons like pockets. You can make them in a short length, full length. They've got them for kids. Um, it's a really, really great pattern. There's a reason why it's a cult favorite in the sewing world at the moment. And it's brilliant because it's size inclusive. In terms of dresses, I have also included a pinafore pattern. This I think is quite a useful pattern because you could also shorten it to make it a vest so that it's a very mix and match piece of your wardrobe. And that is the Tiana's Closet Vera V-neck pinafore. 
it looks really really nice I love the star lines on it I love the drawings of it and also the pictures of it actually made up it looks really really beautiful so if you're wanting something a, a layer piece to go with your capsule wardrobe to help make it a little bit different from day to day this would be a really really great one uh, on Tiana's closet I can't find the measurements I'll have a look, I'll put them on the screen if I can, but the size available are from extra extra small through to 5XL, so usually that's pretty good. It does depend on the pattern company though, what they think of 5XL is compared to other people and places, so. The other things that I am actually missing from this list that I would love your suggestions of is outerwear. I tried to find nice coat patterns that um, would fit within this that weren't from the same company, so Mood does have some, um, and so does the fabric store, but I wanted to have a variety of places. If you know anywhere that does have any coats or outerwear options that are free, please put them in the comments below so that everyone can see. They do need to be above a 55 inch hip though for them to meet my requirements of plus size curvy fat body patterns, uh, which is the whole point of the list. If you uh, if it's below that, we know there are lots, but we're looking for ones that are bigger than that. Uh, I wanted to give a, a little shout out as well to Do It Yourself Better Club. They actually have quite a few free garment patterns, including technically outerwear, an oversized hoodie. And when I say oversized, this thing is massive and it's amazing. I've made one for my husband and I have plans to make more for me and my kids for when we go camping. Um, if you want to see a video about that, again, let me know. I plan on doing a hack for the pocket in the front so that I can use it for crochet. Um, but yeah. That's, that's another thing to have a look at, but if you do have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. One more honorable mention, it has nothing to do with a capsule wardrobe, I just wanted to call it out because it's so cool. I wanted to call out Black Snail and their free pattern, which is the Edwardian Bloomers. They're just so cool. Have a look at them. I want them. I'm gonna probably make them at some point. I know it totally goes against my whole, uh, make sure that you make your basics. So if you got stuff to wear, I mean, if you are someone who dresses historically and I, I love you and tag me because I want to see everything you wear, um, then these are definitely basics, but um, they wouldn't be basics in my wardrobe. And yet, I love them so much. Um, so anyway, enjoy the artwork of that and all the beautiful makes on there. But another one where it's so cool. And the size inclusive, I love that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those pattern options for you that are free and also size inclusive. There isn't a lot, I will agree with you. It is quite a small range of companies that do offer free patterns. There are other things out there um, that would be considered a capsule wardrobe. So free underwear, bras, sock patterns, things like that. I really wanted to give you options for a capsule wardrobe where you can pick these things and put them together as a wardrobe for yourself as your basics so that you can get your me made wardrobe underway in a way that is really thoughtful and that is useful. Um, I know myself certainly in the last 12 months I have been sidetracked by fancy pretty exciting makes that I don't wear because they were for one occasion or one wear or damn just a bit silly. Um, and I'm trying to get myself into making more of my basics so that I actually wear my me mates. So I hope that this was helpful for you so that you can do the same thing. Anyway, lovelies, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you did like the video, please make sure that you like and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. Because um, it does actually really help me out in making more content for you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.